All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, uh, good morning. Thank you for coming through to attend uh, this press conference by part of the People Power Leadership. We're having this press conference after the return of uh, the Honorable Robert Chagulani Sentamu, the team leader of People Power, and also the next president of Uganda. He will uh, give us a brief about the trip and a couple of other things, but uh, in that respect, I'd like to congratulate you, sir, on uh, the many wins, that the winning streak that you have been on. He featured uh, in Time 100 next. That's no small feat. He was also named uh, Male Politician of the Year. Uh, that's a Young African Leader of the world. And, and uh, so with all these awards that come, even though we don't want to get excited by them and lose focus, uh, in a way, it's, it's recognition of uh, what's going on, the work that he, together with the rest of the team, is doing. And uh, we are gratified. Kasukai <laughs> Keiko. Uh, unlike he, he always says, really, these, these awards are not just about him, it's about the struggle, it's about every Ugandan that is interested in change. And uh, he dedicated those awards to Ugandans who, who are working hard for change wherever they are. So, we congratulate you, sir, and I invite you to address the press. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Joel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome today. Uh, we invited you because we wanted to address a few issues. First of all, to report back to you, fellow Ugandans, uh, the people who we carry so high uh, every day. We are back uh, from the US trip. Uh, we bring you greetings from our fellow Ugandans in the diaspora. Many of them are political and economic uh, refugees living in exile, doing everything possible they can do within their powers to make sure that uh, they pass in the struggle to liberate our country. They have been support and continue to be supportive uh, to us in different kinds, as you might have noticed. They send a message of solidarity to us, and uh, that and more I will ask uh, one of my comrades who we were with on the trip, Lewis David, to later on um, Adam Brett. On that. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, come to you uh, in a time when uh, the update of the voter register of the voter registration is ongoing, we have since um, the longest time I've been calling upon you to register, get national IDs, and be voters. Because indeed, we believe that we should be having voters and not supporters at this time. We want to thank all of you that went ahead to get the national IDs and those that went ahead to register. We also want to remind you that there's an, an ongoing exercise right now of updating the voters register. Uh, it's important that you go 
check uh, where you're going to vote from. Ensure that your name, your name is there. Ensure that your details are clear. Uh, whatever needs to be fixed should be fixed now. And most importantly, for those new voters, especially those that have just turned 18, it's important that you go register or go update your status in the voter register. And on that, uh, I will still ask one of my colleagues to um, give more detail. Um, finally, ladies and gentlemen, we mentioned in the recent past that we will be challenging President Museveni in the forthcoming general election. And we know that uh, Section 3 of the Presidential Elections Act of 2005, uh, an aspirant may consult in preparation for the elections. And that's exactly what we plan to do because that law provides that one is supposed to do it uh, 12 months before the election. Now, according to the uh, roadmap of the Electoral Commission, the nomination is going to be on the 20th of August next year. That is less than 12 months from now. We are preparing um, to write, we, we are writing um, to the Electoral Commission uh, to inform them about our plans, because we are planning uh, a nationwide consultation exercise um, to reach out to Ugandans. We are preparing to uh, have our manifesto um, done. And yes, we are already underway raising funds, as you've seen uh, in the diaspora. And yes, we should be doing the same here in Uganda. And yes, uh, as per that law, we are going to be convening meetings uh, all over the country and um, meetings of our national delegates. So we are writing to the Electoral Commission to notify them and also writing to the police to notify them. And it is, it is our hope and prayer that the police will this time respect the law. And yes, we hope that the Electoral Commission will also abide by the law. I want to... Um, oh, Joel just told me, you see, Nakakoma on challenge someone in Uganda. Yeah, in Uganda. Basebo Nibanyabo, Tuvani Rizalero, Shibade Chiamakuru Nyo, Okogera Kona, Basebo Nibanyabo, Nadala Utegeza, Bana Uganda, Abo Betuereza, Tituwa Komi Uo, Okuba Mlugendo Lafe, Amerika, Lugendo Raba De Lungi, Era Tuvale Tera, Okula Mosa, Okuba Eriba Na Uganda Bana Fe, Abali Mu Amerika, Banji Kubo, Ngabali Yo, Ngabali Mbuwanga, Nguse, Ulue Uwebye Mfuna, Ova Evyo Ufuzi. Na ye batu kaka santi bali na fe bali wamo na mwe Muka ufubono uguchu sembera mu Uganda Ujufula Uganda e ya gaza na boji baso ulo kuma u Nibe ya gadi ya munga ba nansi um, Ibiku ataka na noru gendo la fe ulo Nja kusaba munga da fe kutuwa tambula na ye uh, Lewis David at briefing him Munda chikantono nyo uh, Ensonge yo kubiri Tuwa gadi okubaju kiza Nti wali wo uh, exercise again a maso iyo kuza obuja nkalala za balonzi basebo ne banyabo tumaze banga ngatuba tegeza ngatuba jukiza ngatuba kunga mu wandi semfunenda ga muntu musobola kuba balonzi kuba twagala balonzi si bawagizi wakati mu kubeba za olo kuulira mulango ogo era no mugujumbira nyo tuba jukiza anti sawa zino a uh, enkalala za balonzi ziri ziwanikidwa mu bifobe na ebironde bwamu Tuba saba ni saba mwena mugende muzebuja enkalala za mwe mukebero wa manyaka mwe mwegali na dala abo abalonzi abapia okusingira dala abako izi miaka kumi no mnana mugende mwe wandise nawe ya juwe zeta te wandise angako genda we wandise mutelezevu lichimu mwekingeshua uh, wolo ndira wewo amanyago gego okakasenti ogenda kubela mulonzi si justi mwagizi elani nsonge yu nja kusaba abo tuba tukena maso mbana angivaja jidamu Nsonge semba yu, uh, jebubu deko tu wabategeza. Kiwa munge chisi indecha people power kulaba na Uganda. Tute kateka ukue simba u ukuchalenji nga President Museveni. Siku ntebe ya pangkua President Yoka na yu kubifowe nebironde wa mu. Era, uh, ukusinzira kukawa ilo namba satu. Akete keri fuga ukulonda wa President. Era kumamu kumi bini muetano. Dituwa edembe oku genda okole nteka teka zino ngemiezi kumi nevi jejibu layo okuwa wandisa obo kuno minetinga ituwe dembe okola okwebu za mwusi yo na chetu plani ngokola um, wasuwe teke ilio ituwa dembe okuteka teka manifesto ya fe edatu plani ngochikola um, chili na andawe kuruda rafe 
Achitua edembe okunganya esente ezokwe yambisa mukulonda ne mu campaign ere cho twa chitandi sekoda nga tutandikire bweri bwe gwanga bana Uganda bana fe yana nawe sebo nyabo aliyo tunatero kutoka ko kuba kono ka ufube wa bana Uganda noku noku singira da chitua edembe eteke litu edembe okola meetings okungana na bakulembeze bana fe abagendo kwasa ganyo muri mogo era cho tugenda okola so nawe cho tutese tese okuandikira kachiko ke byo kulonda no kuandikira police okulaba anti nabo bagondere teke eliyo ne bali goberera ne lisobulu tuyamba okola emirimu jaffe mu Burundi ngati tuina kutataganyizibwa tutekate ka utandika ka ufweyo oyo mubanga elitawera wiki bidi okuva kati era nga tujja kuba tubategeza jagalo ko bazamuna ge Joel Sinyonyi era sebo akazenda nka komezeyo kwenza tuyanze ke um, I just request Comrade David Lewis to briefly talk to us about uh, David Lewis. Uh, to do a to do a Find a way. Sorry to. Ah, okay. Mine is just a little small update. I'm sorry to miss that. Okay, let's. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President and uh, uh, Comrade Joel. Uh, my name is David Lewis Rubongoya, and I'm the Executive Secretary of uh, the People Power Movement. I went with uh, Honorable Chagulani and uh, other comrades to the United States of America, and uh, we went basically to interact with uh, our fellow Ugandans who live uh, in the diaspora, uh, specifically in the United States. You've been seeing us do other engagements abroad in um, all sorts, in all countries and uh, on all continents. Uh, but this particular trip was uh, unique in the sense that uh, we went specifically to uh, rally our people to support uh, us as we prepare for the 2020 election. And so we went to the states of Boston, uh, went to New York, went to DC, went to Seattle, went to San Francisco, went to Los Angeles. Those of you who watched uh, saw how many Ugandans attended those events uh, in the hundreds. I think there's no event where we had the empty seats because the Ugandans came out in large numbers to support us. And you saw that wherever we went, Ugandans came out with a strong endorsements uh, for Honorable Chagulani to represent them, uh, their voices, as we go for the uh, presidential election. Uh, Honorable Chagulani, as has been mentioned, was also named among the most influential people in the world by the Time magazine, which is a very, very uh, big uh, fit. He also had an opportunity to address uh, students uh, and lecturers at uh, Yale University, which is one of the big, biggest universities in the world. While we were there, our comrade Flavia was also in uh, Berlin, Germany, representing us at uh, other engagements uh, there. Uh, what we need to say is that, uh, as he already said, the, the, the law uh, permits us to raise funds uh, 12 months uh, before an election, and we're doing that. Uh, the Ugandans in the diaspora have kick-started a, a strong campaign drive to raise funds for us as we go for the elections. I thank you. I think that's a uh, I need to do. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will, I will uh, mix Lunyangore and Uganda and Nyoro. And Nyoro. Okay. 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 Era ne tugenda mu states za Boston, ne tugenda New York, ne tugenda Washington DC, ne tugenda Seattle, ne tugenda San Francisco na Los Angeles. Honorable Chagulanyi agenda ko ne Toronto mu Canada. Ah uh, butatu kayeyo ne tumiti ne tusinga na bana Uganda uh, abava mu 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 uh, mu states zenja olo mu America. Era kunkunga nezo bana Uganda basaba nyo honorable Chagulanyi okubachikirira ngaye simba kuba president mwala wa endorsements ye pande bona nga bavayo mubunji bamusaba kubachikirira abantu abonno abanji bava mugwanga lino katebe yagalide walo abantu banji nya bali mu exile abalala embere yawo no yabale mani basalawo ne bagenda ne bagende yo bali mu wa wanguse basically so basaba nyo tukwataganiliwa mu fena 
Kuche bali nze, kukula wanga tuwa mbala ngule, na wane wako mawano. Elanda fetuwa wa subiza, jiwa na Uganda bali urede, kuluwa nila wa mu, kukula wanti siya fe, etele la. Mpozi wetuwa liyo, ne mwanyi na fe, Flavia Karule, ya libali ni jamane, na yungu wanga kwa saka, ni mwja people power, elanga singa na wanta wenja ulo, kukula wanga hichisinde, tushitambuza maso, na uluta walo luno, kuru wangu. Mwibali ni mwibali. Bana Uganda, abali mudaspora, bo bengi ni baba dewe kula mu omulimu, okula wanti baso lozi simbi ezichakutu yangu mu campaign sisi no. Ela iteka anga una bochagua, wai yuge de ya presidential elections act, diga amanti, mazi kumi na vidi, bochiva jisi kade yuko nominations, omuntu agenda kwa simba kwa presidenti, akilizwa okula fundraising. Ela na fichi fichi tani sse, tuwa tani kilebo lo guanga. Okutani kwa fundraising kwa hiyo, ila bana yuganda wa vili mu Amerika nense ndala, baje ju mvide mu nyo. Ila tula wanti, wetutu kila mu 2021, kuja kwa tuina sende zimala, kuluwa na kule mili muja fi. Okay, um, I think let's just finish the communication, then we'll uh, do the questions quickly. Let me invite uh, Comrade Flavia, who just returned from Germany, on uh, people power duties, and to also talk to us a bit about this water process. Um, thank you very much, Joel. Good morning, <coughs> everyone. Oh, no, you know, ye, power. <laughs> <laughs> My Nava name is Flavia Kalwe Navagave, uh, the team leader of national team leader of the Women Wing People Power. So, I just want to add my voice to what uh, the principal has said, especially about voter registration. As women in People Power, we held um, a press conference a few weeks back during the voter verification exercise for the Electoral Commission, calling upon all Ugandans and especially women and girls to ensure that they verify their information on the registers. And we are very happy that that call was upended and uh, we got a number of people checking, although we found a number of challenges and gaps therein which we uh, forwarded to the Electoral Commission and hope that they would be addressed. But now we want to amplify the voice as well uh, building on to that call of the voter verification to ensure that all Ugandans, especially women and girls out there who are the majority in this country, to ensure that they go and check that their information is correct. For those that have never registered, to ensure that they register. And because uh, we have so many new, uh, new voters, especially young girls who have been in schools, please ensure that you get a chance to go and register as a voter at a location of your choice. And for those that want to change voter locations, this is the right time to be doing that as well. But most importantly, cross-check that your names are right and your information is correct. So you know that women and girls, it's very important that we, we engage ourselves in these governance processes because if we are left behind, then who will better uh, represent our issues when it comes to decision making? So I call upon you to utilize this opportunity to do that really well. And as I conclude, I also want to remind you that uh, yesterday, the international community and us as well, we started the days of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. And as a woman and as women in this country, we know that uh, the biggest percentage of uh, victims that suffer sexual gender-based violence are women and girls. So in the commemoration of these 16 days of activism, I want to call on all Ugandans to, this is a chance for us to shine a torch onto this evil that is eating and slowly uh, <coughs> taking away most of, destroying most of our families, but also reducing the self-esteem of so many women and girls. So I call on two key uh, factors or people. First, I call on the government to ensure, we know that uh, you have had a lot of work that you put into ending violence against women and girls, but can we amplify, can we expedite the processes of uh, ensuring that you have special courts that listen particularly to these cases of sexual gender-based violence, because we know that there are so many hindrances around them that they can't just be put in any court. Uh, so we call on these special courts to ensure that these cases are handled quite fast, but also to ensure that the government establishes uh, shelters, GBV shelters, for the victims. And second, I want to uh, call on uh, the parliament. I'm glad that you have many a number of parliamentarians with us in the Pro Power Movement to ensure that you expedite the processes of certain bills that are still stuck in parliament 
that address directly this evil. For example, the Sexual Offenses Bill and the Marriage and Divorce Bill and the Employment Act, Employment Bill. All these are bills that are critical to young women and girls because we know that when women go to for interviews uh, to get jobs, they are told they are given a carpet interview, which is basically you have to sleep with me in order for me to give you a job. And yet this employment bill can help us stop that. But you also know that right now we have so many people who victimize the girls by asking what was she wearing when they go to report sexual offenses, uh, sexual offenses. So we want to shift the blame from what was she wearing to who is the perpetrator and why did the perpetrator do that and what a punishment befits the perpetrator. So thank you very much. I want to call on all Ugandans. It's our responsibility to ensure that we have a zero tolerance against gender-based violence. Thank you. One minute in so Jagalo Kongelo Kujukiza Vana Uganda, Nadala Wachala, Nabawala, Avadi Abitunda Tanum Bibi Kuchikumi, Uganda, Fava Chasins of Wunchtegeza, and to a Tuakola Momulim, and together and to Kevera, and Amanyaga, Fabi, one to Kobia Fabi, the Wulunji, Kunkara, to Solo Kuchusa, Engeri, Uganda, Jeronda Mava Kulembeze, Nayamu Mulundi Guno, to Sawa Wana Bate Wandi Sanga Po. Na dala banja wana wawa de masomero katiba fumba umoje guno gwe mu kisa guamu okugenda kula banga e wandi sida kuchipo choya gala kuchalo choya gala ate ola wenga e, information ye gena mbulu nji na wala mkros checking ye vivyo na ibya gana njaga loko gela kuna kwe kumino mkaga eza hizo buta wangu ko aa mwonsi yona unakurajo tuata anso Okuruani le dembeli avantu, bonna na dalawa saja na bachala, utaba anguko uba no kawa sanyiziwa. Na enze chinka kata konyo kogele omano mwana no mchala, kuwanga tuchima inche vituna chano mkaka kuchukumi be bachala, avacha kawa sanyiziwa, uba baita mbela yoko achiwa, ne mbela wetu. So nze njaga omulanga kukubila, avantu wa milundi evili, etisoka gamete inachie koze, okuya mange ken, okula ange kendeza, Kukuta wangu kono ukawa sanyizi wawachala na wasajia na ete chimala So wali wabia muso ulo tukoleanga government kwa wachala na wakazi Echi so kela dala muso ulo kutu ya ambane mutu tela koti Eze nja ulo Eso ulo kuhuli la emisango java ntu Awatu sidua ko ulisa mani Oba wakawa sanyizi dua Oba wafunyo uta wangu ko umakaga we Echi okubili tuwa gani government muso ulo kute okuongele nsimbi Mukuziza, obutabanko, no kusomesa abantu ebi mkubiwa vila ko, okule okufa ko, e, vino. Then parliament ya fe, tuliba sa nifu, tuwa lina haba wela mu, people power. So tuwa sawa, mga wachala, mugende, mutu yambe muise ama teka gachale medem parliament. E teka liya, liya maka, uh, sima inge lije otoge ya mulu gana. Marriage and divorce bill, okuwa saganya maka, lichale medem parliament. Mucha ina vya mudigobe satu wa ilongo seza mudiete gireze. Mwete geze nete kari ya employment ya liyamba avantu hawa uwewea e milimu. Ne sexual offenses bill hawa wakwa ati wa waka wasa nizu wa wana hawa to hawa defining do agama teka gaja kutu ya manyo. Okuzi hiza na ukeendeza ukuta wanko maka. Na mwe public tuwa gambe chichimu. Mwe kila awo. Oksari la awantu wa kwa chiduo msangu. Mchala wa mkwacha, wenota nika kuda mkubuza. Ya wadaya ambadacha. Ya wadaya tambla samika. Eteka, uh, echo siche echikulu, echikulu chili inti. Ya kwa chiduo, ya kwa chiduo. Tumukole dechi. Tumusibye, oba neda. Tumulesa alievu tala, oba neda. So, fokasi yafe. Edao, tulekerao, okuli saba na wala. Tuche watu kusidu wako, netisola kuogele wako, basilike, bafileyo, atenge chukura chino. Tuchimai chibira na fe, umakaga fe, masome luga fe. Ne mizikiti, ne makanisa, ne mik, na makerezi ya. So fe na ugunainzi wa wafe, 
kukanga tumalao echikola chino nga tuwe kubako oba nga tuwela wa kunaiswa Thank you. Um, I'm going to request Honorable Chief Sebagala in one minute to talk about uh, the voter registration exercise in regard to the name. There's some information he would like to provide. <coughs> Thank you very much, <coughs> Mr. Senyonyi. <coughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Senyonyi. Your Excellency, I have to report to you the challenges that are going ahead in as far as voter registration exercise is concerned, <clears throat> especially when it comes to new voters, those who have attended 18 years and those who registered some time back. The challenge we are having in almost all parishes where registration is going on, when you go there to register, they ask for your NIN number, National Ident Identification Number. And many Ugandans were registered by NIRA, but up to now, they haven't gi been given their NIN numbers. They always go to NIN headquarters, uh, sorry, NIN headquarters, and they always bounce back. Come tomorrow, come the other time, come the next month. So we have a very great challenge that many Ugandans are going to miss out because it's not their problem uh, not to have the NIN numbers. The responsibility of providing all Ugandans NIN numbers is best in the hands of the NIRA. So in case if the NIRA has not done its work, we request the Electoral Commission to intervene, that people are registered as NIRA processes their NIN numbers because it has taken more than a year. Many students were registered while in school, but up to now, they have not been given their NIN numbers and yet it is a prerequisite for registration. So it is very important that given the time frame we are given, 11th, 11th December is just a stone slow, a stone, uh, a stone, a stone slow distance from now. So if it is that time, of, uh, the time is very uh, limited, there is no way how many Ugandans can be denied the opportunity to register on grounds that they are lacking in numbers, yet it's the responsibility of NILA. So, Your Excellency, that is one of the first challenges I'm talking about. Secondly, we are talking about those who have clocked 18 years. We are encouraging even those who are 17 years, because by the time of voting, these Ugandans will be already 18 years. So we expect the Electoral Commission to be very clear that even those who are 17 years, if they, they, it has been confirmed that they are 17 years of age, so their votability is really cannot be uh, uh, ca cannot be uh, uh, not taken because we know by the time of voting these people were 17 will be 18 years therefore i'll urge the electoral commission to come in and be very clear about that and finally we appeal to all ugandans our excellency has been really uh, reminding ugandans for the last three years to go and get in dagamontu to go and really participate in acquiring national identity, identity card. It is imperative upon all of us that please, whatever the reason, come out in big numbers, go and check your votability. It's not just a matter of saying, ah, ah, mine is done. Even if you are a registered voter, even if you know that you have already been registered, go and cross-check at your parishes to ensure that uh, your name is there. And secondly, all those who are uh, coordinators of people power all over the country, please, we must as much as possible sensitize and also try to whip all our people, regardless of their political ideologies and affiliations. Let all everybody go and register, go and check whether he will be in position to vote come 2021 20, when we'll be voting our only president. Bobu Wan Chagran Setamu. Thank you very much. Uganda and Songa, Yenjaga Rokwanju Yamkama of Fe, His Excellency Bob Wan Chabran Center Mu, Eriku Somoze Wokuneni, Tweturina Kun Songa, he exercise again a maso, a Yokemen Kazabaluns. Exercise and come off free as they are coming to Zabantu, again Okwe Wandisa, Katkupi Naki Satis. No ratio, Nayok Somoze Wokuri Wok. About one or two kids day, Abamabelo sees Abamba, but nothing comes and I mean people power. 
nti abantu banja abagenda okuwe okukebera ku nkalala za balonzi bwe batu ukere bagenda kwe wandisa ababa weza na 18 oba na abalala baba gama mugende mulete nini namba nini namba ye namba je bakuwa ya ndaga ndaga wuntu era ya identity card bo bato jirina je bakukiriza kwe wandisa ato vuna izwa bo kuwandisa bo funa nini namba si uwo si bwa baba abagenda kwe wandisa okulondo kutenda ku kala zabu bo vuna izwa kwa nila ne nila abantu bagenda yo Kitongole chikuda nzi wa kundaga mtu Bagenda ya abantu Nga baba gamba kuma uncha kuma uguro kuma ululi Era exercise eno Loku mante kuma anga kumi na rumu desemba Tula matiba na Uganda manji Bagenda kumi uomu kisa ugokulonda Na inga ate simu punaizi wa wawe Simu sango kwa wawe Tusaba akachukwe vyo kulonda Kaingile muteka teka ze kitongole Chiwandi isa abantu chinila Ogama ati abantu wabata ina ni namba Baba wandi ise Nga ni namba za wawezi kwa lachi wawezi jia Na ya abantu banji, kutu na agenda mbela nga wefana na Abantu wetu uroa kunila, nienga ni namba za wutezivayo Noecho ya kubili za elektro komisho ni esonge jitula Mwecho kubili, tuwa agalo kuongelo kutegeza Nti walu waba anji ya abana be wandi isa Omwaka wako mwe babiga, masube na agenja ulo Nieno kusa kwa usaya ya lero Tibafu na angadaga mtu, ni ni namba za wuteziri uo Atenga chiechu kakwa kukuliza kasoka Ogendo kwa wandisa obero mkulimupia Noche nsonge yonkulu nyo Kumanga vanda Uganda manji Baga la venye kile mkulondo mkule meze ye na Gwebe itaga Nye mbela zo na Tuwa kwa mkulondo mkule meze Kona ibo chakula nse tamu bobu waini Echi semba yo Tuwa gado kusaba yito commission Nsonge ne yongelo jitangaza Wale tuwa andi abantu waba wansa wiki kumi nomu nana Echi kama chyo kumi nomu saba abantu abana wawizi kumi nomu sangu Na chyo kwa chyongelo kuchika atiliza Kubanga, abamba lohoza, abawize kuminomu na nabu, ka, bebe wandisa. So tumaito kwenye kuna atukila, abe kuminomu saamu uluwa lero, baja kwa mbali kuminomu na nana, eyo namba nene nyo, tuandisa ye abantu wawo, babilega be wandisa, kubanga wana atukila kuda moko wandisa, okulonda, baja kwenye langa bagadeo kisa saizeno. Weche soge yebele kiri ya nyo, eri, bana pa wajito komisyoni, nji wawa weleza mesiji zao, na abantu wawize kuminomu saamu, babilega soge kwenye langa bakulachi, be wandisa. Chisemba yo, Tuwa agaro kukubiliza wa kodi ya itasi wa febo na Hapa pipo po wa mungu wanga liyo na Mwono funa izu wa wa fe Nga mungu kama wa fe wa zi za tukubiliza Ogama tuge tukune indaga mungu Kati funa izu wa wa fe mungiluka mkostu wa nseku district Okwaba nti haba tuwa ita mungu Tuwa game tuwa gende Be wandi ise Ila tuja kusabe to commission Emiluka eji mungiri wala Basi embeze emiluka eji wa sebeze Sadi sezo kumpi na haba nti Kubiyalo Muteka teke fana we Leka nichiba chitegeza kuongele kubude Na yenga abantu odabona bawele do mukisa atenga ne sase zili kumpi okusinga abantu bana tambula ebyale biwangu ogendo kulonya bagendo kimira ekala za balunzi tuba kubiriza mwe namwe wandise mujumbire kubanga omukisa kwetu lina mu lutawo lwe tuli mu oloku chusa government yenu duwa kuita mateka ngatuko za kalulu okusoro kwela ngatulonda OHT wa bobu wanja kula nyi center mu mwe bali nyu mwe bali ndala all right thank you just before we take your questions, uh, let me add this about this voter verification exercise because it's very important. As people power, we have embraced the update of the voters register. And uh, we are encouraging Ugandans out there to embrace this process. That if you are a new voter, you were not of age the other time or you were away, now you qualify, go and register. Even when you don't have a national ID. Uh, the EC has assured us that they will have kids there to register people and so on. Go and do that. Those that uh, would like to change their voter location, you voted from the village that time, now you want to vote from town, go and change that. And the rest of us to cross-check our voter details that they are as should be. But here's the thing. There is about, according to Ubo's figures, about 1.3 million Ugandans from 12, because the exercise is from uh, 21st November to 11th December. So from 12th December to the time of election, about 1.3 million Ugandans are going to block a team. They will be voters. And it appears as though we are locking them out of the voting process. We are disenfranchising them. So our call to the Electoral Commission, even as we are embracing the update and so on, let's make room for these 1.3 million Ugandans. 1.3 million is too huge a number to be left out, to be disenfranchised. So let's make room for them. So if the EC is saying, look, we don't have enough money and so on, put in your requisition. Because Parliament always passes supplementary state house, 200 billion and so on. This is a critical process, so we must make sure we do it right. If we don't execute our election process right, that's when we get into violence and all of these things which are unnecessary, which are uncalled for. So let's make sure our voter process is voted right. Defend people power. 
Echisela chino, election commission chenta deo, echo update inga enkala za balonzi, the update of the voters register. Okuvanga abidi mulu mulu november, maka anga kumi na lumu december. Ilanga tuka amba banda Uganda yuna jemuli, nti mweji umbile nyo exercise eno, ugenemwe wandi se, abate wandi salulinge, miaka lito juweza, wabate wali mugwango, wabachi, nti kanoke kaseda, usomolo genda, uparishio, muluka, newe wandi sa, newe wanga tuina national ID, electoral commission, Yatu kaka siza nti bata deo kits Nyo solo genda ni wei wandi Sa nti agalo kuchusa luli waloni la mchalo Kati agalo kuru ondi la kampala Oba china ji Osobolo chusa Na faba siga de Nti osobolo genda no kaka sa Detailzo mwezili mbu Nga wezili no kubela Na ye okubanga Kuminabili disemba Kuwanga prosese eno Ekuwanga kuminalumu disemba Na ye okubanga kuminabili disemba Paka wetu na londi la Figures, eza ubo, sile ganti, banda Uganda milioni emu, mwe mitualo makumi ya sati. Bajia kubanga kwa weze zei miaka kumi na nana. Ngeira, baba sovulo kulonda. Na ye, kati process eno, eva galida kwelu. So, fe electoral commission tuji gambanti, we wawo, tuwa niliza process eno, tuli mkujeta pamu, tuwa gambanti, muteke we nkula. Ya niliza banda Uganda, abu, milioni emu, ne mitualo, mwe mitualo makumi ya sati. Banda Uganda manji yu, kukupa galide kwelu. Electoral commission kwe gambanti, teina sende zimala, but if the parliament is going to make sure that the same parliament is going to say that it's a supplementary state house, big on the BD, Nachinachi. So, in a process, it's going to be a long time. It's going to be a long time. It's going to be serious. But now, Uganda, it's going to be a long time. All right, we want to welcome your questions, and some of them will be answered by some of our colleagues here. Uh, let's see how we begin. Uh, let me begin this idea that I'll keep moving. Let me begin with Wandera from Monitor. Um, one, two questions. First is about the fundraising that was uh, in the US uh, for accountability purposes. <laughs> we would like to know, uh, as Ugandans here, and the Ugandans also in the diaspora who actually participated in this whole exercise, how much uh, did we raise from this exercise? Uh, yeah, for accountability. Uh, question two is about uh, it's about the consultations that are going to begin. Uh, we know for sure that uh, you have not been on the good side of, uh, of police, good side of police groups. Would like to know what are you doing this time round? Uh, because you have always come out to say we followed the law, we followed each uh, every bit of the law, but still police came out and either blocked you guys or, or dispersed your um, or your meetings or something, or something like that. This time round, it's going to be a mandatory consultation, uh, which is provided for uh, as of uh, section section three of the. Uh, uh, okay, and the final question, we have many people yeah. like So, what's going to be done? Okay, we'll take you know, can be Buse Muruganda, Puranga, Yakan, and Sasa Muruganda. It was a young lady, York City. A chimney part of the press conference, Jetulim, Jirala Chau Kanam, which so come when Gaba took over Muriba Mativu, and Napa is taken to our Kachiko Kavio Kuronda, and to Kaki Vizam. Whatever day, a very people's government, Baton was a cow with the work on Yemikon, Yokula Banga, Bow, what you don't claim is a Wanga. My CC, Mangaba people power, Chicha Mogera, which is a Moriba Matibo Nacho. Okay, thank you. Yes, then I need to come beside. Yes, you. Ah, why some Moses, so the one. Uh, President, Honorable Chamberlain, Commission near Catongoza, Okerebeda, Emirundi nge satu, ainga watamu ni kumi sato kujia, no kui ni kumi sato, nusu waka kaga. Baka amaina gai ulisiki hundi ya iweze, baba buza, 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 buza. Echo kubini, haba antu baba wakizi wa people power, bali kuenda utegeira, haba antu baba so, baba tu ukira, angamu idinda district, haba kule mbezi nivani. Ok, let me pick some from 
this is origin. Ze animal katamba. Animal. Animal. Kola ni BBS telefaina. Muzo changi cha ukana muko ku press conference tulimo. Mwezo kuja ogenda kubaye tekateka ogenda kupena mbana Uganda na watambuse ibikere. Kama vumirira ibikuru yokuri yangu si kusubira ne president wa Uganda na yokuvera mu tekateke. Nga people power mubiranga namwe tumukirye siganya na bigabo bya kuri yangu zitwa subject namwe okay munabera mu cyo kibozo cyangwa so that's the work of the decoration week yeah. okay uh, did i see a hand somewhere inside Mzee Nsubuga Muhammad, Nkola Nature to International, wamuna edobo zili ya makele 3 pages. Ebi ntu, echibuzo cha nchilichimu, esawa zina wana Uganda, avali mkutambula, ngabe mpasa izinga, avantu gendo kwewa, okebele nkalala zawe. Avantu avu, government ili mubaku wata, obapu boye gamanti, chebako laba chukola mbuchamu, mchogela coaching haba people from Google. Okay. Yeah, so I wanted to ask them at once. Okay. Um, let me just uh, this question of corruption. Then uh, our colleagues are going to take on a couple of them. The, the, the corruption work and all of that. It's, it's a good thing, symbolism. But look, as far as we are concerned, symbolism alone does not fight corruption. Mr. Museveni, every year in his State of the Nation address, says, I am going to put these corrupt people on firing squad and so on. He has done none of that. If anything, himself, he has been implicated. You and I know that he is an exhibit 1510 in a corruption case in the US. A gentleman called Patrick Ho is behind bars for having bribed, among others, President Yuri Museveni, 500,000 US dollars, Sam Kutesa, 500,000 US dollars. Prof. Sam Kutesa said he used the money for charity and so on. And uh, Chad, President Idris Debi. So we are saying, the, the working and so on, they are generally okay, but, but it's not enough. Symbolism is not enough. If government is serious about fighting corruption, let, them, let, let us see them taking action against the corrupt. Because many times those implicated are simply promoted, they are given red carpet, nothing gets to happen. Mr. Museveni has said once before, you remember, that uh, it's not a bad thing to steal as long as you reinvest the money. So he's clearly not interested in fighting corruption. So the symbolism alone does not interest us. Echokambanti, to etabimu kutambula, gato gera kukuluwa nyizengu, nyizengu zi, corruption, na chini. Pepe kutambula, bidi yao, tetuwa gala bisa hako nyo sila kubanga. Chetuwa gali la dalakwe kukuluwa nyizengu zi. Echo kujogera kwa mwami seven ibuli mwaka jogera kwa awali nguzi njapa kubama sa sifaring school na china chi ni hita vikula po Katibaji hita tukende tutambule Okutambula oke okay. abantu vajia tambula Na ye echu cha chike ino kuruwa nyise nguzi Petu gama ni tuwa galukula vila dalangi nguzi Kwa nga vani nga abata gala jiru wa nyisa Mwami seven yeke njini chizibiti Chizibiti musango ogokuli nguzi mu Amerika Walu mkulu wa muita Patrick Ho Halimu Amerika wa musiva Cheva Musevira, uwa President Museveni nguzi, Samu Kutesa nguzi, ne Idris Dabi nguzi. Mwai Museveni, mbuyamua, mituwa latano, eja dola. Ne Samu Kutesa, mituwa latano, eja dola. Samu Kutesa, tuwa ulila agamanti, ya zikozi sabia charity. Kati omuntu waje chizibiti, mkulie nguzi, tetuwa gala tuudisi, tetuwa gala okulabi, dadala okuluwa nyise nguzi. Echeo kutambula, corruption work, na china chi, oke bibeo, na yefe tuwa gala okulabi, dadala waka. Honorable Samba is going to respond to the question of consultations, how we are going to deal with the police and all of that. Um, let me take this opportunity to thank all Ugandans who are supporting people power and who love to see the peaceful change in Uganda. My name is Patrick Insamba. I represent Kasanda North Parliament. I'm the coordinator of Greater Mubende People Power. Um, this message that has come through today is very deliberate to tell police that continuously they've been breaking the law, claiming that uh, election time has not started. Today, this morning, Horov Chagulani has quoted the Presidential Elections Act. And in the Presidential Elections Act, the, the, the law allows any candidate to consult Ugandans 12 months towards nominations. So we are calling on Uganda police not to continue with the behavior of uh, unlawlessness in this country. We are calling upon the police to respect 
the candidature of Honorable Chagulani Sentamu to, to respect the candidature of uh, people power. We want them to begin by accepting that we are looking for peaceful change. Um, this business of going on to outlaw everything we are doing as people power is against the law. And we are law-abiding <coughs> citizens. And whatever we are doing, we are doing it in a law-abiding manner. We will continue talking to them and referring to, to the law, telling them that the law talks like this, and the law stands like this, and the law has this message about presidential candidates. Now, they normally use a Public Order Management Act to disperse our, to, to disperse our meetings. Now, we are going to, to educate them about the Presidential Act, and the, we are going to work or do our activities within the Presidential Act. So, this is a message to the Uganda police. This is the time when Ugandans are going to, 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 to listen to you and know or see you behaving as though you're not a regime police. Once you continue dispersing our, dispersing our meetings, you are continually showing Ugandans that you are a regime, a, a regime police, which we really don't want to, 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 to think about. Jangan waktu orang kisah belum kisah kezaman na Uganda. Di police sebab dengan kau jadi semua kisah buli jo, atau semua kisah anggap agam banti. Honor baca bulani, kaguan itu holding a meeting iyo na, orang katanya nak te abah menye menye mateka. Katulah honor baca bulani, abu dia na abah tegesa mubuti. Je teka dia buat kau simbau kuat presiden. Ini zikiriza, okuta ambulang dan nebu zakuban na Uganda. Enak tu agak aku sabab police, ewe cuti we take care you. Buli jawa mazembanga, ngaba menyia mateka, ngaba kuzesa public order management act, ngaba gamba public order management act take care zamu na wachagula ni calling a meeting zino. Katulua alero, tuli mu presidential act, owe take care ifugaba, owe simbio wa president. Kwa gara police seria kwenye njia bulungi, na fetu gani nafufa nyoka kula banga police togera na yao, o kujisho mesa, o kujimatiza, kwa huna wachagula ni kati candidate, e ya dikele ya linze, o kubeba ranga agenda kwa simba ku president Museven. Bulewa na sisi gara ranga wa gara kula president Museven ni yeka ya sawa karu. Ferry ba na Uganda ba jikwa ba tulia zinti police eno, si ya ba na Uganda police eno ya muami Museven. Kubanga yari mkuu tangu bure kuanga liona. Baronchi nga busako, baronchi nga faktore za, 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 zima ze miaka kumi nga zikola, bakula bulichi intu. Choka, ono robo chagula nyuri wafayo, na gamba alimukumenya chi, alimukumenya mateka. Katulaya tu gamba polisi ya Uganda, nti polisi ya Uganda, mwewe leremu, kwa gala kula vanga muli wo, kuruwa vanga Uganda. Mwewe vale nyo, mwewe vale nyo. Thank you. So, Honorable Chakula, is going to talk to us about the ICC question. As Honorable Nambe, she prepares to respond to the question of uh, voters who are being confused and all of that. Message not too clear. Then, Honorable Karwanga, somebody asked about people who are being confused. Thank you, Honorable Chakula. Thank you, Honorable Chakula. Thank you, Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Joel. Uh, brother from Radio Simba asked uh, for our position and opinion about uh, the idea of taking President Museveni to the ICC by our friends and brothers and sisters from the FDC. I must say that uh, a few years ago, when more than 150 people were killed in Kasese, including women and children, uh, the leaders from the region of Kasese, led by Honorable Win Kiza, petitioned the ICC, and we were in support, we are still in support. Also, when I was tortured together with other fellow MPs and other leaders, um, we have been collecting evidence for the same. We petitioned the UN uh, Committee against torture, we um, petitioned uh, the Interparliamentary Union, and yes, we've been also preparing to raise our complaints with the, Afri with the African Committee on People, on Human and People's Rights. And also, we are in the process of uh, going to the East African Court of Justice. We are in support, and indeed, we are 
available to assist in every effort to check President Museveni on every platform. Having noticed that the courts in Uganda don't scare him at all, we are willing to assist any effort to check President Museveni. Uh, I must also mention that uh, through our leadership in the diaspora, we've been pushing for sanctions and uh, everything possible to curb uh, this murderous regime. I'm glad to remind you that uh, what we've been able to gain so far are a few sanctions like visa denials of those people involved in human rights abuses and corruption. And I believe we'll continue achieving more by and by. So ultimately, we are in support of the effort by our brothers and sisters in the FDC. And like we've been saying, we will support every effort, every legal effort, both nationally and internationally, to remind President Museveni that he is not God. Yeah, um, I will also, um, yeah, I will uh, make it clear that uh, we've been uh, reaching out to our development partners, and particularly in the United States, to invoke the Magnitsky Act against uh, those human rights abusers. And yes, ultimately, we've been able to achieve some visa denials, and uh, more is coming. Muruganda. Muruganda, for those and those I have made, for the Wabaganda, President Seveni,